family what it do it's your girl tamika and i am back with another video Ooh, don't get it twisted in fact your plans what i be complexion is her she chocolate shh keep it low key talk with m m maybe too much g get the pepper from my daddy game be from my mama don't affiliate with those who owes don't have commas pillar ain't for those who chose to have drama got a meal to make so i can load and blow on her uh, little mama is ahead of the game i want the xbox stash Shout out to my family, S&T squad. Y'all the best squad. That's why I love y'all the long way. Appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in. Listen, if it's your first time here, I need you to stop right now and smash that subscribe button. Smash it! We're on the road to 50K, man, and we need your help. No cap. Share this video. Share us. You know the drill. Just help us get to 50K. Damn it, we so close. Look, look. We about to get into this video, man. I swear to God, man, this is a bad month for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So many people are breaking up. Now there's been announced that the Prince family is actually about to call it quits. So without further ado, we about to slide into this video. Let's go. Now, I ain't gonna lie, man. YouTube has been breaking some couples up. I don't know if it's this quarantine or what the hell is going on. But recently, we done seen some of our favorite YouTubers go through some hiccups or break up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got to honestly say, De'Aaron Ken was my biggest scare. But I'm so happy that they back on track and they're better than ever now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jazz and Tay was another couple that I kind of didn't really see it. I didn't see it coming. But, you know what I mean? I also know that things happen. You know what I mean? Especially when you're in a relationship before you really build a foundation and you come on a platform like YouTube. It could be a little bit difficult. But I'm going to be real, you know what I'm saying? When you mention YouTube couples, Damien and Bianca is definitely, you know what I'm saying, uh, on, the, on the forefront of that list, you know what I'm saying? So when they made the video saying that they were breaking up, I'm not even going to lie to you, I was a bit surprised, you know, honestly. Um, it's crazy because there's a lot of people with mixed opinions right now. Some people feel as if they're doing it for views or it's all a cap and yada, yada, yada. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. You can research the Prince family. And I really don't think that they need the views, to be perfectly honest. I mean, shit, they channels like wreck the A on Social Blade. You know what I mean? But they're not, like, suffering for views and things like that. So I don't know why people will feel like they would have to go to these lengths to get people to view them when they already have such a massive following. I just don't understand that. What people sometimes don't want to realize is that shit happens. You know what I mean? Life happens. And people don't really understand that sometimes when you work beside the person that you're in a relationship, relationship with you do have to find a balance to when you can turn off the youtube you know what i'm saying uh and, and turn on your relationship and sometimes finding that balance is it, it's a bit of a struggle i'm gonna be real we took the last three days off because that's one of the things my wife don't play about you know what i mean no matter how crazy i go on this youtube i want to grow more than anybody on this bitch so sometimes i'm always on a hundred you know what i'm saying but then my wife have to say look cut that shit off you know what i'm saying it's s and t time the real s and t time and i have to abide by that because at the end of the day you know what i'm saying if our relationship suffered then our youtube can't thrive so people got to sometimes pay attention to that you know what i mean or whatever that's just that's just all i could say about it now i wanted to be able to react to the whole video you know what i'm saying but everybody know that uh nib management do not allow that shit and it would be copywritten. But I did want to come on here because I felt like it was a really, really good topic to discuss. Um, in the video, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen it already. But in the video, it really kind of seemed like it was more so Bianca who was more unhappy than Damon. You know what I mean? And this is one thing that I really have to be able to stress with people. Um, people don't realize sometimes the things that women go through. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Bianca just had a baby. And uh, postpartum is real. You know what I'm saying? And some of the things that she might be feeling could be, you know what I'm saying, her having symptoms of that. You know what I'm saying? When you just have a baby, man, your body go through changes. You know what I'm saying? You don't feel like you look the same no more. It don't feel like your husband might view you the same anymore. It's a lot of things that goes on. And I think that's sometimes uh, the things that these young men really don't understand. You know what I mean? I think we're seeing it right now when it comes down to Carmen and Corey. We don't really know what the length is of what they're going through behind the scenes. But I know that uh, Carmen did have a pregnancy scare. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, Corey announced that he was going to be leaving the couple's channel, but then he was going to be recording on his personal channel. Now, I don't know if they're doing this because they're trying to give us a hint that they're about to go their separate ways, but it just makes me very sad for Carmen because um, she still, she's just now uh, letting us see pieces of her documentary. 
And in her documentary, she stated that, you know, the last time she was pregnant, it was probably one of the most traumatic times for her. So to see it repeat itself again with Corey, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. I'm going to be completely honest with you. And um, a lot of the things that Carmen was going through was postpartum after she had CJ. And that's one of the things that makes me believe that this might be the case with Bianca. I don't think that it's necessarily going to be over. But I really do think they probably need to take some time away from social media and just build with their family. They've been going through a lot of traumatic events. I mean, baby girl had just had, you know what I'm saying, a hearing problem. She's a brand new mother again. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, the family dynamic is going to change and it's not going to just be able to be back to normal. It just don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? We can, you know what I'm saying? It's just, we can co-parent. We can be business partners, but it doesn't have to be like all lovey-dovey stuff anymore. But I wanna know how you guys feel. Do you guys think that the Prince family really have to like make these type of videos for views? Like I really wanna know because um, maybe I'm naive. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just a person who just don't think that somebody that's thriving like they're thriving would have to go through those lengths. I could be wrong though. You know what I'm saying? Like seriously, drop it down in the comments. Let's talk about it. You can definitely tell that the body language in the video was a bit off between them. You know what I'm saying? You could just tell that this video was very, very uncomfortable. And there's just a lot of things that they're probably going to have to work on behind the scenes to get things back on track. I really hope to see that they make it, man, because they have built a empire on YouTube. But not only that, man, they just got a family. I mean, money is one thing, but then when you're talking about your family, you know what I'm saying, taking on a completely dynamic, a completely different dynamic when your children is used to waking up in the morning to mom and dad, and then you got to start doing this co-parent thing, man, that shit could be stressful. So I really hope that, you know what I'm saying, they both put in the work to at least try to make this work. Now, we don't know if they've been trying to make it work i mean who knows this could be the end of the road but i just hope that they work it out you know what i'm saying for their family's sake one thing i will say is that i am a big advocate of families you know what i'm saying i love the family dynamic i feel like that is something that you know we're just slowly but surely getting away from you know what i mean the 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 the, the, the union of family is so important so for that alone fuck the youtube i don't want to see them break up because i mean they have a beautiful family you know what i mean and they're doing it the correct way they're young, you know what I'm saying? They're very successful, so I don't want to see it end. They have a very, very big brand, you know what I mean? And it could, it could, it, it could mean a lot, you know what I'm saying, for their brand if they do decide to break up. In my heart of hearts, I really feel like, you know what I'm saying, um, Bianca and Damien probably need to take a vacation. Just them two, you know what I'm saying? Had dad, watch the kids, you know what I'm saying? And I think they just need to get back to what it, it, what it is that, you know, brought them together in the first place. And I don't think it would be hard to resurrect if they both put in the work now. You know what I'm saying? But look, I want to know. Drop it down in the comments. Drop it down in the comments. You understand what I'm saying? Before you leave this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe right now immediately we're on the road to 50k man and we need you to hit that subscribe button smash it also before you leave make sure you like us up man i love you guys so much i appreciate appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in and until next video i'm gonna catch y'all